you this morning. I want to get our week started by telling you some things that are really important to me. We call it Faye, what's on my mind? Gun control and this horrible governor are on my mind. Governor Ron DeSantis, the governor of this state that I live in, signed the bill in a private ceremony in his office, right? His only immediate public comment was, constitutional carry is in the books, end quote, which he said in a three paragraph news release. The new law will allow anyone who can legally own a gun in Florida to carry one without a permit. It means training and a background check will not be required to carry a concealed gun in public anymore. It takes effect July 1st. Watch this. Governor DeSantis released this photo shortly after signing the permitless carry firearms bill into law behind closed doors. Along with the picture came a one sentence statement. Constitutional carry is in the books. Reactions from the governor's supporters immediately poured in. We got it done early. Uh, it's now signed by him and it takes effect July 1. So happy to, happy to deliver another win on that issue. But supporters of gun safety laws believe Florida is less safe now than it was a day earlier. Well, my reaction, especially in light of the killings in Tennessee at the school, it's um, devastation. Um, it's sadness. This measure allows Floridians to carry guns without concealed weapons licenses. The new law also does away with a decades-old licensing process that required firearms training and background screenings to carry concealed weapons. Well, the biggest concern is that it's going to um, end in more gun violence and gun deaths. That we should move forward with permitless constitutional. So, you want to carry a gun? What do you need? Nada. No verification that a person has mental health issues. Nothing. No background check. Sounds crazy, right? It sounds like we're in a freaking twilight zone. Well, it is crazy. <laughs> so when I was a kid in Passaic, New Jersey, this, um, this young man that I grew up with was gunned down and he died. And I'd love to say that that was the last time I went through that, but it wasn't, right? And I moved to Miami uh, soon after going to quite a few funerals back in Jersey, right? Be and I moved here because at the time there was less crime here back then. And also because I didn't feel I could be my true authentic self with my parents. You know, we all got a lot of, a lot, lot of us have that story as well. So I left New Jersey and I came to Florida, you know, and I have lost many people due to gunfire, drive-bys, murder, and let's not forget to add, um, you know, my trans sisters that we've lost um, over the last couple of years since I've been here. And, um, you know, I hate that I've had to live through that. And I hate that you've had to live through that too. But with this new law, I'm fearful that many more people will die. If you're not worried, you should be. And that's really where, what's on my mind today. That's it. So did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen right there. So you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.